Hey everybody, Big J, Anderson, Mountain View Farms. Got TV on the camera, say hey. Hey. Got Lil here. Hey. Now, what's the last step here, Lil? Well, the last step to flash freezing blueberries is to bag them and to store them. Your turn. Okay, thank you. My turn. Blueberries, last step. As you can hear, they're rather loud, which is great. That means that you kept them in the freezer long enough to get a good freeze on it. Now, you don't want to leave these out too long, uh, otherwise they're going to melt and it's going to be a big mush and it's going to defeat the whole process. Now, that's two cups right there. This is one cup. You can use either one. She's putting those in there. We like to measure exactly four cups to get this a, a full quart. Technically, you could probably put a little bit more in the bag, but Exactly four cups lets us know how much we have for long-term storage. If you have, say, at the end, you've got 12 quart bags, then you can use it over a period of a year, kind of ration it out. As you know, blueberries are very expensive, so it's a very precious commodity around here. And one thing that you can also do um, is to Put the big blueberries in gallon bags if you really have a lot. However, if something goes wrong and they clog together, you got a big thing to deal with. So that's why we like to try to keep them in the quart bags. And so she's doing a great job on that. These are great for long term uh, jams, jellies, stuffings and pie, blueberry muffins, pancakes, pie fillings or just toppers on something, ice cream, when they will fall out and be a little bit shriveled, but they are really great for all of that stuff. And you can spread it out over 12 months. So that way you'll have something once a month or special occasions. So that's pretty much the gist of this flash freeze blueberry process. Now in our next series of videos, we're either gonna go through one of two things. We're either going to go through the goats and the goat milking and how we procure that and everything that we do with that. A very interesting process. And we don't have goat milk. We've got gal milk. That, what, that, what is that? That's, it tastes like cow, but it's from a goat. You get the nutrition of the goat, tastes like a cow. Or coat milk, either way. That's what we call it, gal milk or coat milk, gal because our gal outside milking. The other thing we might focus on is over here, grinding grain, our country living grain mill. Great, great piece of equipment. We've had it about a decade. Uh, we, we do have a motor on it now. Our wheat, rice, corn, grits, all of that stuff. This is pretty much a big part of our kitchen. So those are the two series that we'll likely get into. Now, glad you could join us for this series. Had a blast doing it. AndersonMountainViewFarms.com. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tours, live music, children, 12 and under are always free. Adults, it's just five bucks. We'll see you next time.